Hello everyone, this is your friend Sakib, and today I am here with a new. Today we are going to talk on a touch sensor. Okay, so there are different types of touch sensors available, and there are a lot of application based on the touch sensor. So one of the application you can see the touch switch. Nowadays, uh, the traditional switch uh, of electric board has been replaced by the touch switch. Or you can observe the small ch uh, children's toys over there. So if you touch the toys, it will start ringing. It will start giving out the music, or it will be turn on the light, or you have got a touch table lamp. So today we are going to see the practical application of a touch switch. In short, so there is one uh, uh, very cheap and easily available touch sensor available in the market. That is nothing but a TTP. Two, two, three B. So this is a capacitive type of a uh, touch sensor which is available in the market. So you can see here this is a, a, a component side over there and the opposite side here it is written as a touch where you have to touch to change the output. So here you can here you have got a four different mode. Uh, so depending upon the position of A and B, you can see on the PCB board there is a logic. Uh, so if I take this and I will just highlight this. So here it is one of. Sorry. Uh, so you can see here there is a logic A and B over here. Or I will use some different color. So logic A and B. Depending upon this A and B. So if if this A is short circuit, it is called as a logic one. And if it is open, it is called as a logic zero. So depending upon that, there are four different modes. One is zero zero, zero one, one zero, and sorry, one one. So there are four different modes are there. How we can use this touch switch? So so my friends, let us see the practical how we can implement this. Uh, and we'll see the pra practical uh, application and the practical working of this switch. So, friends, you can see this. I've got a touch switch over here. Okay. So, on the front side, you will see uh, there is, as I shown you, so there is one ground over there, one I/O out, and another is VC, and another side you have got in a touch plate over here. This is a capacitive type. So there are four different ways we can work out. So you can see here A and another is called B. So if you keep this both open, so now at present these both are open. So this is called as a logic zero zero. So A is zero, B is zero. If I short the A, it will call as one zero. So A is at logic one, B is at logic zero. If I short B, so B is will be logic one, and if A is open, it will be zero. So it will be zero one. And if both are short, then it will be called as a logic one, that is A at one and B at one. So like this, we have got a four different configuration, and we have got a four different output. So let us see how this works over there. So I have got one practical setup over here. So you can see my breadboard over here. So here the first one is a logic zero, that is A zero B zero. Second one is A at one B at zero. Third one is A zero and B one, and last one is A B. Both are one over here. So I've got a breadboard. Output of this I have connected to the LED. So here this LED one two three four LED. So the four output of four sensor. Okay. So here I have given. Uh, plus and minus. So yeah, this sensor works on five volt. So this sensor works on five volt plus VCC. So actually, this works from three volt, three to five volt. Okay, three to five volt plus VCC. Okay. So you can operate this between three to five volt over here. Now let us see how practically it works. I'll turn on the light over here. See my friends, I have turned on the light. Now you can see here, first one when A and B have given the supply over here. If I touch this touchpad, now you can see the output LED is going on. If I release my switch, it will become off. So this type of configuration is called as a touch to on. See, as long as my touch is applied over there on the touch plate, the output is on. So this one it is A one. So I will just mention this is A. So the first configuration A and B. So as long as I am touching here, the output is on. As I 
release the switch touch plate it becomes zero so this position this type of configuration is called as touch to on so when both a and b are open on the board so this uh, configuration we can use as touch to on this second configuration is inverse of it to make the output off you have to touch it see as a touch the touch plate the output is off so this is totally inverse of it so in the first configuration you have to touch to make the output on in the second configuration you have to touch to make the output off now let us see in the third configuration over here so in the third configuration see if i touch the output becomes on and it remains on as long as uh, to change the output i have to touch it one more time so the output is touch on and off in the fourth configuration also see if i touch the output becomes off if i touch the output becomes on so you will be observing that the first then second third and fourth third and fourth are exactly similar to each other so we have to touch to turn on and off at the output but there is one main difference between the configuration number three and four in the fourth you know there uh, if you short circuit a and b logic a and b when it is at the logic one and one it has got some memory now wh what is this memory now if i make this whole system on you can observe that at present the output of fourth configuration is on and if i turn on the power supply everything will be shut down okay and now when i i will turn on the power supply again you will find that the configuration fourth output is still high but you can see that the configuration third the output is off so whenever you turn on the power supply the configuration third output will be always in the off state now once again we'll see here see now both the output three and four are on output is on now i'll just turn off the power supply everything becomes off now we'll turn on the power supply now we'll see the output of the fourth configuration remain as it is because when i turn on the power supply the output was on but when i switch off the power supply and switch on the power supply still the output is still on okay that's why it is called it has got memory so now i'll make the off fourth con so for the fourth configuration whenever you are going to turn off the power supply and again if you are going to turn on the power supply output will be always on and for the third configuration if you turn off the power supply and turn on the power supply the output will be always off so this okay now you can see this is my touch lamp over here and uh, it has i have connected with this sensor and if i touch this see it turns on and again on and off so this is one of the application which i have developed over here so my friend uh, please like share and subscribe uh, for my more and more technical video uh, so this is how the application works over here if you want any help uh, in developing the touch sensor application uh, please contact me